All right, I haven't done one of these in a while, so we'll just go through the entire collection today. The dealer Corvette ZR1 poster, original dealer 63 Impala cardboard poster, my movie cars. Fast and the Furious, Brian Supra and Dom's Charger, a couple little Fast and Furious cars back there, Nana ones, Grease Lightning, and Christine, Eleanor from Gone in 60 Seconds. Godfather, Vito Corleone, and then we've got General Lee from Dukes of Hazzard, and the original Batmobile. A couple of old car pictures, every generation Camaro, 69, 71 Camaro from Dukes of Hazard, I think it's Cooter's Camaro. Um, 82 or 83 Camaro. 97 convertible. I think it's a 2013 cop car. And then the 50th anniversary. Um, my daughter made that for me. My dad's two cars, and there's stuff in there really interesting picture but she made that for me the c8 dealership poster and that's my header shelf and this is tribute to my dad's cars that was his 56 chevy it was actually that blue color. And then a 62 Impala. Well, that's a Bel Air, but he had an Impala. And that's my mom sitting on his car. You can see the license plate there, N177G. My son had a friend make those for me. And then just built this little thing for it with the 56 license plates, a 62 license plate. And then a 63 license plate because that was the, the year of the plate that was on the Impala. And this is the one of my first dioramas. It's an old record player, TV console. So it kind of gutted everything. And then here I've got the Zephyr and the big blue AMC AMX. And a 143rd scale Genco Deuce. Tom Daniels, Bad News, I think it's a 70 um, El Camino. Not up to speed on those guys yet. There's the Baldwin Motion Cobra, Baldwin Motion Chevelle. That one was actually a build-it kit. The 57 Chevy Apache, Coker Tires. With the wheels in the back. And another 62 Bel Air. I'm going to lower that one. And then in the, in the TV part here. There's everything in here scratch built. It's got a hot rod there. A Bonneville Salt Flats car. 63 Z11 Impala. Uh, West Coast Choppers Chopper. I don't know if you can see all the different tools in there. I've got these little 187th scale cars that I found that you could stick in there and it looked like a model car from that. Um, a little trash can back there is made out of a conduit fitting. There's a old military Harley back there. Another 187th car. 
Um, under the lift, we've got some parts. A 69 Genco Deuce, that's the drag version. And then up top is the 67 Nikki Camaro drag version. And then all the all the posters on the wall made to look like you know metal signs of the day. And then we come to the to the Corvette case here. A 54 and a 57 Corvette. Then the OCC Miller Worldmaster bike. A couple more of those 187 scale cars. I don't know. I think it's a GMP two post lift. And down here we've got the C8. 67 427 Corvette Stars and Stripe version. Um, C7 Corvette that was actually a gift from Rick Corvette Conti, the guy right there. Got a pretty cool YouTube channel, one of the top Corvette salesmen in the US. And down here, got the C5 Corvette. 69 Volvo in motion, the C6 Corvette. The license plate back there is from my 2007 Corvette that I bought and then got rid of. And then down on the bottom, we've got another 67 427 79 pace car. And I think it's a 62, but it's a to the Mako Shark concept car. A Corvette clock that my brother got me up there. Um, the rear end of the Corvette there does light up, but the batteries are dead right now. The 30th anniversary Camaro poster is the 97 and the 69. Camaros, Street Outlaws, OCC guys, um, the two green ones here, that was a BF Goodrich poster that I split in half and made into a couple different pictures. And another poster, this is from the Woodward Dream Cruise actually. Found the frame at a garage sale and kind of weathered it and then put the picture in there. Uh, the old, old Crow Speed Shop sign, the tin sign that I found at a flea market. It is not original to the old Crow Speed Shop, but it is pretty cool looking. And down here is my son's 124 scale cars. Some miscellaneous stuff, Stranger Things car, Batmobiles, kind of random Hot Wheel, Legos, Ghostbusters, and then some more of his 124 scale cars. And on the couch area here, got some car books down there table that I made that has a Catalina emblem on it and then down here is a tri-power emblem from that Catalina there's a checkerboard that my brother made me this is a clock it doesn't work anymore the light works but it used to rev up when you turn the key but I broke that somehow um, some more artwork here. These are, I made this post, this picture myself. My mom always bought me calendars for Christmas that had hot rods and cool cars in it. So I took those and I just cut the cars out and made a collage out of them. Turned out really good. Indie poster. 
another car from a calendar that I had that has turned into a piece of artwork. Oh, this is a newer cabinet, but it looks like I forgot to put the light on here. It is a 40 or 41 Chevy flatbed truck. 19, like 15 Harley motorcycle. And on top of that, it's a 57 Studebaker. It's the project version. So it's a pretty neat little car. I did not weather that. It came that way. So anytime I can find those, I try to buy them because I think it's a pretty cool option. And we've got the Bigfoot, 19 scale Bigfoot. That's the last one that I've purchased. I found this pieces of parts of a car at one of the flea markets and bought that. So it's getting crushed by Bigfoot. And on this shelf, we've got 69 Yenco Deuce, the street version. And I believe it's a 71 Firebird, the Mickey Thompson version. And then back there is a Izetta. Some type of German. It's a fire truck version, but I don't know what the German means on that one. And then we've got Olds 442. And we've got a Messerschmitt. And the 69 Charger, the Hot Wheels. And the paint on that one is really cool. It's almost like a chrome Buick GSX. Another Messer Schmidt, and I believe that's an airport brand in Germany. And then the 70 Yenko do. So I've got the miniature 143 version of that, and then this one's the 118 scale. I'm going to come over here, and I've got an LED light up sign. Or Rosie's Diner, a tin sign, Al Max Diner. We've got Dom's Chargers and Lego. My son built that one. It's just some random RC car that he's got. And then my Mopar shelf here, we've got the Tomahawk, the Hemi Cuda. That reflection out of there, the Dodge Daytona, the Superbird, and the Little Red Express. Then coming down here again, we've got a Woody, Austin, I believe, another Ford Woody, Mercury, Maybach. No, another Harley. And I made a little toolbox. Another little 187 scale car there. Then all the metal signs and stuff. This is kind of the main collection area here. So the cabinets were solid wood like that. And then my brother came over and cut out the centers of these and we put some lights in there and glass and that's kind of what I've got going now. I did not put the light on in this one but we'll go through some of the dioramas here in the cars obviously. Um, Ford GT, McLaren, Ferrari, Bugatti, another Ferrari, another Ferrari and a Lambo. Those are all sitting atop CES Motorsports. Um, CES is my wife, daughter, and son's initials, Chrissy M. Sam. They established 1999. That's when my wife and I were married. And here we've got some vintage posters on the walls. Kind of some advertising like you might see in an in a auto dealership. We have a 37 Ford. Um, some type of a racing Mercedes. I forget what year that is, but it's kind of cool. The interior is really neat in that one. 
Pantera, Ferrari Modena, I think. We've got a 67 Corvette or Camaro convertible, Lamborghini, I think a 70 Nova, and a 57 Nomad back there. And there's some more artwork on the walls. This is our newest diorama. This is Nikki Speed Shop. Obviously, my name's Nick, but I like the, the Nikki's Supercar Chevrolet that used to be around there. So inside the Nikki Speed Shop back here, we've got a guy in the parts department that was scratch built. And we've got the 56 Chevy, 62 Bel Air, uh, Pro Rods from Maisto, a lot of cool details in that. Uh, there's, a, there's a dude drinking a beer there too, engine on a motor stand, uh, forklift, 65C10 hot rod, looks like they got the charger going on that one, maybe the intake's off of it. There's some tools back there, it looks like ox oxygen acetylene torch. And up above there is a 57 Chevy. It was modified again. I've tried to put all the modified cars in the speed shop. I know I've got a lot of them, but. And then um, just a couple gas things there. Got some more dudes hanging out in here. It's the 58 or 57 Fury. It was the, the kit that you buy, but I weathered this myself. Tried to make it look like a patina car of the day where folks will mechanically make it sound, maybe do the chrome and stuff, but keep the patina the way it was. And scratch built both of these Ben Pack lifts. And up top, we've got the 64 GTO. It's got the race engine in it and the roll bar and the race interior back in the back of the speed shop is the OCC fire bike and then two 32 Fords that are custom this is the very this is the very first diorama that I actually built it's pretty sad but um, it's Sunny Boy's Garage. It's named after our first dog that we had together. Got a modified Ford Ranger F100. Old Ford pickup truck. And then the Yat Ming Tower. Inside of there, got an old muscle machine. We don't really collect those, but I had to have a place for it. Now these are the cars that I've modified or weathered here. 67 Camaro convertible. It was a brand new shiny blue car. I got the same one for Christmas one year as the red one that I showed you over in CES Motorsports. So I decided to weather that one. One of the first cars that I weathered here is the 70 and a half Camaro. When I bought it at a swap meet, I didn't realize that the windshield was melted in it, so I decided to weather it. Came out all right. Back here's a 67 Mustang Fastback. Once again, it was kind of beat up when I got it. It was missing some stuff, so made it into a weathered one. Another sign that my daughter made me a while ago. And back here we've got Bowser's Drive-In. This one's named after another one of our dogs. So I tried to make it look like a like a 60s, 
early 70s type drive-in. So all the cars here are predate that that era, like something that you might have seen at the drive-in that night. Not good with the year on this cop car, but it's a Dodge. The Flower Power VW. 57 Fairlane. Retractable hardtop. Really cool model. Um, hardtop actually comes out of there and slides up if you want it on. I'm not going to try and do it now, though. Uh, 58 Impala, 61 Impala, this is a Sunstar model, it's really high quality, it's got carpet inside of it, all kinds of stuff. Um, back there is a 65 Impala, Shelby Mustang, the dude rocking out on his guitar, Royal Bobcat GTO, the other dude trying to be cool on a Vespa, so he's combing his hair. Porsche Speedster. And Ford's greatest failure, the Etzel. You can see the menus kind of got stuff on it from my kids. Names, my wife's name, all kinds of stuff. And then I tried to make the windows look like they had old old time servers in there and if you can see down there in the bottom it says no burnouts so you order here and you pick up on the side on this side, we've got a 57 Bel Air, 62 Bel Air cop car, 64, 62 Bonneville. Not good with my Dodges, but that's a Cornet RT. Dude chilling in it. 69 Trans Am. 69 Camaro. Dude chilling. Happy Days Merc. And a 57 Corvette. And we'll go into the cabinets here. We've got two Vipers. I believe it's a 97. I don't know the year of that one, but I liked it. Another Harley. A little Elvis die cast. I think it's a 2015 Mustang GT, 62 Cobra, 37 Ford Shine Rod, and Plymouth Prowler that I modified. Usually it was, it was originally purple with a black interior, and I made it matte black with a red interior. A couple Bugattis there, a DeLorean. Lotus, Ducati, Alfa Romeo, three Porsches. Some of these have artwork on the, the walls that kind of match what the cars are. This particular cabinet does still. And then I've also kind of replicated old metal signs in there. I did make the Coke machine there. And once again, it's got one of those little 184th scale cars on it and the vending machine next cabinet here 66 Bel Air I think it's a 66 or 67 Chevelle another Cobra 55 pace car 55 Kind of a hot rod, era correct. And then up top we've got 96 Impala SS, 57 Olds 88, another Baldwin Motion Nova, 57 Convertible, 
59 Impala, an old Harley. And this is actually the first model that I ever got. My wife bought it for me thinking that it was a 62 Impala, but all good. Down here I've got Buick, BMW, a Merc, both of the Santa Sleighs, 32 Ford and a 40 Ford cop car. Down here I've got a 65 GTO, 64 Impala, SS409, 70 and a half Baldwin Motion, Sport bike in there, 79 Trans Am, 68 Camaro, vinyl hardtop, and a 69 Nova. Got some military vehicles, got an old Suburban, a Hum V, a Willys Jeep, and an OCC Comanche Chopper. And we've got an 81 Corvette, 57 Corvette and a 69 Baldwin Motion Nova. You can tell I like the uh, supercars from supercar muscle car versions. This is my Ferrari and Lamborghini cabinet here. So two favorite Lamborghinis, the Countach and Diablo in there. And then some old dealership stuff. Some pictures of Ferruccio Lamborghini. Um, when style meets class. Money can't buy happiness, but it's better to cry in a Lamborghini. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I think everyone had that poster. And then my Ferrari shelf up here. It's got F40, the Enzo. 250 GTO and the F50 and then some pictures of Enzo Ferrari Ferrari decorations and the last cabinet here got a Jaguar or Bentley Range Rover a Mini Cooper Ferrari Dino Ford GT an Audi Race car, 68 Camaro, Mini Cooper, 429 Mustang, 67 GTO, 40 Chevy Suburban Holly. Boy Lightning McQueen, a Vega GT, and a 71 Mustang. That's all that. And then we'll real quickly run over to this side. Kind of a mess right now today, but there is some more pictures on the wall. Thirty-two Ford Arrow Rod, T bucket, Corvette clock, Barrett Jackson poster. Rat think that my sister, my sister, my daughter painted for me. An old picture from my grandparents' house. Motor City Classics. My aquarium that's built into the wall with a ceramic Corvette in there. 55 gallons. The street that I grew up on. A clock and a stained glass that my dad made. Oh, I forgot one more wall in here. Another picture that my daughter painted for me, the SoCal Speed Shop. And another one of the collages that I made from the calendar pictures. That's it. That's my car cave. Thanks for watching.